we're on. Okay, we're live. Hello, everybody. I'm back. It's Tuesday evening. Helios Silithicus, located in Guthrie, America. We're on Capital of the Universe. Well, that's what we like to call it. Oh, time out. It's always happening. Who's calling me? We're doing a live. Oh, it's Jody. Here, I'll film myself. You go talk okay. to Jody. We gotta talk to Jody. Okay, now I get to film myself. Can you turn the camera around when you do this? We're figuring this out. Hey, that way I can see what I'm doing. All right, real action here. Okay, so today is like day two of the mega deep freeze. As you know, if you live around here, it is super cold outside. It's only going to get colder, which isn't necessarily a bad thing if you're a knitter. Plus, it's sweater weather. So if I can show myself in my sweater. That's right, I have on my... Uh, oops, it's getting mad at me. So let me rotate my phone. I'm not good at filming myself live, but that's okay. Yep, so I've got on my lace sweater from, um, this was from Mode Haze this last season, made with uh, Kit Classic and Kit Silk Heights. In case you're wondering what I'm wearing. Good time to get out our sweaters and show some yarn. Yesterday was quite an adventure. Um, I knew that the roads were bad when I got up at 5.30 in the morning. Yes, that's a joy of my life. I'm up at the crack of dawn. So I knew there was a really bad wreck north of here where the lady died with all the cows. Um, so I knew it was bad. But I thought, well, if I just get my kid to the bus stop, I'll be good to go. Well, we wound up in all the flash freeze uh, yesterday trying to get my kid to school. And then I thought, now how am I going to go get him? So I had to shut down early because Jeannie's off on Mondays. And I didn't want her to have to come in plus you couldn't I mean that's the problem when it's icy like that our back parking lot gets to be a skating rink we have the elevated steps uh, the sidewalk out front was awful I mean totally awful the only reason I got in here yesterday is I stopped by my husband who owns the auto parts store and got a bag of ice melt poured half the bag making me a trail to the door but I was shocked at the number of people crawling up the sidewalk to go to boomerang to get a hamburger I just I don't understand it now yarn we get hamburger I don't they're not they're mediocre at best I'm, I'm not gonna break my neck to go get a okay cheap hamburger how about oh genie's back we're gonna turn it back around so that way all right yep there's genie okay okay I'm back. <laughs> but anyway so the next couple weeks will be super cold and as we discovered yesterday if we get even a wee bit of moisture it turns into like dangerous ice just in an instant so um with the temperatures going to be as low as they are rule of thumb if it's wet outside you probably need to stay home and and if you're really desperate for yarn Call us or order online. We get them out like the same day as long as we can get to the post office ourselves. We can get you yarn pretty quick. We have a two-week snap. Or come in. But again, if it's moist outside and wet, you might call us first. Because if it gets too icy, we probably will go home. Plus, we don't want you to break your neck and wipe out in front of our sidewalk. We would feel super bad about that. We're not in the type of contained situation where we can de-ice and, and make everything clear. Because you might have to park, you know, half a block away. And I'm only one woman, and, and I'm, I, I'm dedicated, but I'm not that dedicated to de-ice the entire <laughs> downtown Guthrie. It's just not going to happen. So that's what's going on. But this cold snap, there's some necessities that we need that we can help you out with. First of all, lotion. I think I need to bring home about 10 of these and just bathe in them. Um, this stuff is so awesome. You'll be so happy. You just want to rub it everywhere because, I don't know, that's the bad thing about cold weather is everything just gets stuck. Mm -hmm. And there's two new scents that just came out. We have, oh, I got the wrong one, Soulful. I grabbed the purple. And Sensual. Sensual is brand new. I can't decide which one I like best. I think they're both coming home with me today. They smell super nice, plus you need them. You need lots and lots of lotion. We can help you with that. We also still have samples. We were sending out samples to everybody. Um, for Christmas promotion, but if you super need a sample, just call us and call put one in your order or just ask. We've got samples for both. We're going to have a new one here, Sensual. I don't think we have them for Soulful. We have mm -hmm. a bunch of others. They're kind of random what they send. And we also have the fragrance samples too, Sensual and Soulful. They both they have the same scents that transfer over to their other products. So we're excited about that. Um, if you need even more moisture, these little body butters for more are pretty awesome. They're very thick and they go a long way. They have a lot of nice smells. So again, I might have to can make a bathtub for you. So <laughs> yeah. I think we're gonna need it. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, for those of you like me who do have to get down to it, lip balm again for more. We get this from Aust Australia and it's the bomb. It saves my lips every winter. It is really good. Good stuff. It's not like the stuff I get like at the drugstore, but you put it on and it seems to it's like eye drops. It makes you seem to just keep needing more. This does the trick. It actually, you know, will get rid of my chapped lips where nothing else seems to do it. So we love this one. So winter essentials. 
uh, most importantly, winners in for yarn, yarn, lots of yarn. We have a ton of yarn. We have more yarn coming in. Spring stuff's supposed to start arriving. Everything's arriving late this year, but, you know, that's how it is. But we can get yarn to you if you can't get to us. We're pretty dedicated in that regard. But I'm not going to break my neck on the sidewalk. I'm too getting too old for that crap. Right, Jeannie? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we don't want you to either, so just be careful and stay warm. Speaking of staying warm, Jeannie and I are very excited about an arrival tomorrow. You just got a shipment, nothing we want to unbox, because the unboxing, <laughs> well, it might be comical and putting this simply, but we've been doing something we normally never do. People think, wow, I can't wait until I retire. I'd love to own a yarn shop because what do you think? We, they think we do what? You need to sit here, and, sit here and knit or crochet, day, yep. watch TV, <laughs> yeah. and eat snacks. No, that doesn't ever really happen, rarely. And not at all for me, especially. Yeah. Judy's in more of that because she's making samples, but I'm, I've got too many other things I have to do. I try to carve out a little time at night to work on that type of stuff, but yeah, no. If you want to have a job where you set and that some part of the day go work for a yarn shop, mm -hmm. don't own one. That, yeah, because I can <laughs> promise you, if somebody owns a yarn shop, does it all day, they're not going to have a yarn shop very long. The business will go out of business. So I don't get to do that. But Jeannie and I, like I've been telling you, have been on this really awesome project that we've been working on. And that has required a lot of making stuff time with yarn. And as a result, we have found ourselves over the last week, both of us in my office, making stuff. And because, you know, if you're going to have to do that during the day, my I have like the attention span of a nap. We have to have something to watch on TV. So we've been binging this show on Netflix. What's the name of that show we've been watching? It's uh, okay. Virgin River. Virgin River. Mm -hmm. It's all right. I, I wouldn't say it's the best show mm -hmm. I ever watched, but it's, it's, okay. it's something that we don't have yeah. to pay a lot of attention to. It keeps us from falling asleep or wandering off into traffic. So we've been watching that. I'd say it's like a Hallmark movie type. And plus, mm -hmm. it, one good thing about it is we don't have to worry about the girls. We have teenage girls walking through and their mom's calling them. What are you two <laughs> yeah. watching? Which is really hard to find a show like that. Exactly. Days. So it's pretty, you know, PG. Yeah. So we found something PG that keeps us so So we've been sitting in there with our snacks, with our yarn, with our TV show, with our feet up. And we, I know the girls are here working and cleaning. They're looking at us like we're the wicked stepsisters. We're like, we're really super busy because we've got so much stuff we have to make to make all this little project of ours happen. But as you know, it's winter and the, this is even before the cold snap hit. We were cold. I don't know. We just get cold in there. We get cold sometimes. And we've had these blankets. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to break down and buy a freaking space heater. I've been putting off that because I've been kind of the energy queen since I got my little smart thermostat. And I try to always get my bill down, my averaging every year. But after a while, you're like, I can't take it anymore. And so in my brain, as I'm sitting there making stuff, watching this mediocre show, I'm like, why buy a space heater when you can have a fireplace? And then as I got to looking, why buy a fireplace? I'm thinking, where am I going to put a fireplace? Well, you can have a fireplace that's also a TV stand. It kills two birds with one stone. So not that we needed a new TV stand, but we just only have so much room, especially mm -hmm. since, you know, one-fourth of my office is now taken up by this exercise bike. I think I'm riding a lot more often than I am, failing on that account. So tomorrow, well, I've ordered it. It's going to be delivered tomorrow is our fireplace. We're going to have a fireplace in my office. It's, of course, not a real fire fireplace. It's pretty <laughs> That could be dangerous. Oh, yeah, we don't need fire. <laughs> but it has all these fancy features. It's so we're really excited about. So it's supposed to come tomorrow, and we'll get it figured out. And so we'll be back Thursday. I don't know what time Thursday, but sometimes Thursday. And we can have a fireside chat. I don't know what we're going to chat about. <laughs> probably, you know, all the antics of putting together the fireplace. I think we'll probably make the hit break. So our plan is, unless we just get iced out between now and Thursday, is to have a fireside chat with our new fireplace in my beautiful office. And I think they'll be excited. I told her we'd be like, what, FDR and Eleanor. I think that makes me Eleanor, though, because I'm the taller one. <laughs> yeah, so we'll all be doing my Eleanor impression in front of our fireplace, and we'll have the chat. How awesome is that? So we're really looking forward to that, and not being cold anymore, and moving along with this project so we can show you what we've been working on, because we're really super pumped about it, but mm -hmm. right now we have to keep it under wraps. Speaking of wraps, you see this land here. What else do we have to talk about today? Isn't this pretty? Everybody see it real well. This is a uh, cabrito. It's one of the new yarns we uh, got in uh, last month from uh, Manos in Uruguay. It is a hand-dyed lace weight mohair. Um, if you like Kids Silk Haze, this is a very similar yarn to it. In fact, it'd be interchangeable. It's the same weight, except it has you know the very you know varying colors. 
which we thought was a lot of fun. So you can mix and match with the Kid Silk or put it with other yarns. Uh, this is a knit pattern. It takes two, it only takes two skeins. It goes super fast and it's called the Evil Queen Shawl. We think it turned out really nice. Carol, our sample knitter, AKA Harriet's mom. She's the one who adopted the cat Harriet out of our alley. So Carol's always special on that account. But she made this and brought it by Saturday for us and we could not be more thrilled. So get those sweaters out. I even have hand-knit socks on today that mom made. I got them, still when she died, I confiscated all her actual pairs of hand-knit socks. You'd think over the years we'd have like, you know, a drawer full of hand-knit socks. The problem is, is usually just, we just make one because that's all we need, you know, for the purpose of the store. So I actually have a couple of matching pairs that I pull, especially like pull out with clothes, not a big sock wearer normally. So I've got those on today and they are doing the trick. Jeannie, you got anything else? Did I cover mm -hmm. all the winter basics? I think so. I don't have anything right now. Okay. Well, Thursday, first fireside chat, pending that we can get the fireplace <laughs> assembled. And I think we can. We've yet to find anything that we need a, you know, a man's help with. Let's put it that way. Usually we <laughs> tell them to go away. We're definitely not going to admit it if we do. <laughs> no, that usually doesn't go, go mm -mm. well at nope. all. Usually she says, where did you buy this piece of crap? I'm like, just, just move. How much yeah. did you pay for it? I'm like, leave me alone. So we, we try. Yeah, no, we don't want to involve him. Like, the last thing we do is admit I need help with the fireplace. Mm -hmm. We can do it. We can. We can do it. All right. So we'll just go tomorrow as our, our fireplace assembly. And stay warm, everybody. It's miserable out there. Bye.